It is now official state regulators have approved those electric rate hikes that will start showing up on your bill next month. It's not as much as CLMP was asking for, but it's still going to hurt. Our chief capital correspondent Mark Davis is here now with more on today's final ruling and what it will mean for you and your family and your wallet. Mark. Hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. As I reported to you earlier this month, it really now looks as though all of that money you're saving at the gas pump is going to go right in to pay your electric bill. Today's final decision means that if you let CLNP pick your generation supplier, the so-called standard offer, the average homeowner will see an increase of about $25 per month when you combine the increase in the generation charge and the distribution charge. Previously approved hikes for UI show that your increase for both charges will be about $32 a month. We have heard from hundreds of people in my district very concerned about these rate increases and I'm, it's really disappointing to find out that people are going to struggle uh, paying for their electricity bill. Now there's not much you can do about the distribution charge, that increase in your bill. That's the charge the power companies charge to maintain the wires and utility poles. You can sometimes get a cheaper rate on the generation charge by selecting one of the competing companies that supply power around the state and there's a lot of them. But all of the, par the uh, power suppliers are going up on their rates, and we're told that's because about half of the power plants are powered by natural gas, and because there is a distribution problem for natural gas in this part of the country here in the Northeast, there's sort of an sh artificial shortage this time of the year, so the rates go up. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.